Hi, I'm Don Wilson, the Tack Doctor. In part one of this video, we're going to talk about common mistakes in inverter installations. Remember, if you're not an expert, get a qualified electrician to help you with your installation. The first thing to consider is the fuse. Many people think you should match the fuse to the inverter, when in actuality you should match the fuse to the cable size. The fuse isn't there to protect the inverter, it's there to protect the wire from getting too hot under a high current draw. Remember, size the inverter to the load, size the cable to the inverter and the distance from the battery, and size the fuse to the cable. When installing your battery cables, never place a washer between the cable and the battery or the inverter, even if it's a star washer. This is a common mistake that causes the washer to get extremely hot and could cause damage. Instead, connect the cable directly to the battery or the inverter and put the star washer or lock washer on top of the cable. The last thing we'll talk about is cable size. If the manual calls for 2 watt cable for lengths over 5 feet, don't assume that that means 25 foot of 2 watt cable makes a good installation. There are ways to calculate voltage drop and you should ensure that you never have a voltage drop of more than a quarter volt under worst case scenarios over the length of the cables. Follow these suggestions and other safety practices and they'll help you maintain a trouble-free electrical system. I'm Don Wilson, the Tech Doctor. For more information and other articles, go to Xantrex.com and click on Tech Doctor.